Welcome, I'm here with Constable Gordon from Soggy Shores Police. Welcome, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me yeah. today on this beautiful sunny day. <laughs> My name is Constable Gordon, I work for the Soggy Shores Police. We patrol the towns of Port Elgin and Southampton, commonly known as Soggy Shores. Let's jump right in and talk about water safety. What are some common problems you see around water safety? Whether it's paddling, boating, swimming. Common problem that we are dealing with or noticing as summer starts is people aren't being very attentive to the children when they bring them down to the beach. Parents we've noticed are on their cell phones, they're uh, far back away from the, the shoreline and their kids are out in the water with no safety equipment, life jackets, water wings, anything like that. And as you know, a drowning can happen in a matter of seconds, especially if you're not paying attention. So that's one of the main concerns we have is just to make sure that you're supervising your children or people who aren't maybe as strong of swimmers as they might think they are. Another issue is people going out on kayaks and paddle boards and they don't believe that they need to have any sort of safety equipment because it's not a boat. Contrary to popular belief, it is a vessel and you do need to have certain safety equipment while you're out on our lakes to make sure that you are able to come back home safe to your family. On that note, check out my full video on legal requirements to paddleboard in Canada and other recommended safety items. Speaking of paddling, okay. what do you say to someone who's going out paddling, they don't want to wear their PFD because they're a strong swimmer? A lot of people believe they're strong swimmers and that might be true, but the water conditions in Lake Huron and other lakes around Ontario can change in a matter of seconds. Temperature of water can also determine how good of a swimmer you can be. Things like riptides and underwater hazards that you might not see could affect how well of a swimmer you are on that particular day. So you brought up a good point about Great Lakes and riptides. I don't think a lot of people know that there's riptides. Is there any other specific water safety around the Great Lakes? As you can see, the Great Lakes can change dramatically depending on water temperature and weather conditions. It could be foggy like this and in the next hour it could be clear and sunny, but then all of a sudden it can turn into a torrential downpour. Temperatures vary from area to area as well. Some areas might be really warm and some areas could be like 11 degrees. So you have to be prepared for that because that's gonna affect your ability to swim and to get back to shore safely. With Lake Huron and a lot of the Great Lakes, you can also surf them. Sometimes it could be a nice, calm, relaxing paddle and other times you're surfing the waves or not even going out at all, depending on your comfort level and your abilities. We still recommend that people don't go out onto the water unless they do their research on what it's gonna be like and make sure they bring appropriate gear. I've been out in a kayak um, in Southampton and it's been flat as glass. And then as soon as I get around a corner, it, the waves are coming over top of my kayak. Which is another important yeah. point about checking the wind conditions and the overall conditions of the area that you're paddling yes. in, in terms of protection and the direction of the wind that's coming. Does Soggin Shores Police have any marine vessels out on the water? We actually do not have any marine vessels. We as Soggin Shores Police actually don't police the waterways, the OPP come in if we do, if we require that. So throughout the summer, you will see some OPP marine units on our lakes, just ensuring that boaters are being safe. If there is an emergency and we do need to get to someone who is out in the lake or has been stranded or is in distress, our first step is to notify OPP, find out where their boat is. Their boat could be as far away as Wyerton, could be in King Carden. There's not a boat always guaranteed to be in the area. So you have to take that into mind when you're going out on the lake that someone might not be around or as accessible to come and help you if you need it. We do have a very strong relationship with our fire department mm. and they do have a Zodiac police fire boat oh, that cool. we can call. And if they have trained members on duty, they're able to get that boat out from Southampton and come and assist us at any of our beaches. Yeah. So that's good. We have had to use them a few times and they've been great. All right, so do Soggy Shores police ticket boaters and paddlers if they're not out patrolling the waters? So just because we don't actually police the waterways doesn't mean we can't enforce rules and laws. We are police officers on Ontario, which includes the water. If we do see someone out in a kayak or canoe or on a paddleboard or on a vessel and they're not wearing the specific safety equipment needed, we can summon them to shore, ask for their ID, and issue them tickets under a provincial authority. The tickets are about $240, so that is a very expensive fine to pay for not wearing the proper safety gear. Even without the fine, I mean, a life jacket could save your life, which is worth more than that. Just be aware that we, although we don't police the water, we can still give fines for it, and we do. <laughs> yeah. As we're wrapping it up, I wanna know, is there anything else that you want people to be aware of? We just want everyone to be able to enjoy our community and have a great time with their family while they're up here on vacation 
or if they live here year round. Obviously, being rescued by the police or fire or getting a $240 ticket might put a little damper on that uh, vacation. <laughs> so we want you to take the appropriate safety measures to ensure that that doesn't happen and that you can enjoy your time while you're in Sogging Shores. Thanks for joining us to talk about water safety. We want you to get out there and have fun and be safe. Thank you so much, Constable Gordon, Sogging Shores Police. This was wonderful. Anytime. Have a great summer, everyone.